Okay, this third method for computing volumes of solids is called the shell method, or the cylindrical shell method. It, it looks a little bit like the disk washer method, but it's actually quite different. Um, it, it's, it's similar in that it is a solid of revol revolution. You are revolving uh, an area around an axis or a line. But, it, but, it, but it's, it's, it's actually quite, quite different from the disk washer method. There, there, there's some times when you might not be able to use the disk washer method. For example, in this example, y equals x minus x cubed and y equals zero, so it's, it's this area of this region right here in the first quadrant, and you're going to, going to find the volume of that solid when you revolve that around the y-axis. Well, look, if you revolve it around the y-axis with the disk washer method, wouldn't you draw your rectangle perpendicular to the axis of revolution? you got a problem here because you, you, you can't compute the, the length of the rect rectangle uh, because it's the same function on both both sides. So what we're going to do is instead we're going to draw our rectangle parallel to the axis of revolution and when you revolve that around that, uh, that area of that rectangle around the y-axis you get what's called a shell. And the, the thing to, well, so what is the volume of this shell? Well, the, the volume of the, of the shell, if this is x sub i star here, if that's the distance that it is away from the y-axis, it's going to be 2 pi times x sub i star times f of x sub i star times delta x. That's what the volume turns out to be. Why is that? Well, if you go down here, the, the reason why is because if, if you think about it, um, and if you think about it, if you were to take this shell and you were to cut it open, it, it would be a rectangular solid. Now notice the, the length of the rectangle would be the circumference, where x is the distance from the y-axis out to here. We're calling it x sub i star. And then the, the width of the rectangle would be f of x, wouldn't it? And the thickness would be delta x. This is important, uh, as we'll see in the next example. X, think of x not always as the x-coordinate, but it's the distance from the rectangle to the axis of revo revolution. And, and don't forget, we always draw the typical rectangle parallel to the axis of revo revolution. So the, the integral becomes a to b of the circumference times the height times the thickness. If you think about it geometrically, it helps a little bit. So in this particular example, it would become, it, you're adding these up from 0 to 1, right? From 0 to 1, you're adding these up. So you get the integral from 0 to 1, 2 pi x, the distance to the axis of revolution, times f of x, x minus x cubed, dx. And then you would, could simplify a little bit. Okay, let, let's look at, okay, let's look at another example. Suppose we have uh, the region bounded by these two functions, y equals x squared, y equals 2 minus x squared, and you're revolving this around the line x equal 1. Okay, well, the picture looks kind of like this. The picture looks, looks kind of like this. The top function is y equals 2 minus x squared. The bottom function is y equals x squared, and you're revolving this, this area, uh, this region around the line x equal 1. Again, you, you could not use the disk washer method because Remember, with the washer method, you draw your rectangle perpendicular to the axis of revolution, and you have the same function on both both sides. So we're going to use the shell method. Now, re remember what what the um, what the um, formula is. It's two pi the volume of the, of the shell that you would get when you revolve this rectangle around x equal one is two pi times the distance to the axis of revolution. What is the distance from x sub i star to this to one? Uh, it isn't, it isn't, um, if the whole distance is 1, and from here to here is x sub i star, then the distance from x sub i star to the axis of revolution would just be 1 minus x sub i star, right? That's the distance to the axis of revolution. And what, what is the height of the shell? The height of the shell would just be the difference in the two func functions. It would be 2 minus x sub i star squared minus the bottom function, which would be x sub i star squared. And then the thickness would be delta x. So when you add those up, take the limit, you, you get the, you're going to integrate this from negative 1 to 1 of 2 pi, uh, 1 minus x times 2 minus x squared minus x squared, which, which becomes this. Now, um, this is an interesting thing. You cannot use sym symmetry on this particular problem because uh, this function here is not an even function, is it? When you multiply an odd function, this is, a, this is not neither even nor odd. Uh, anyway, it, this messes it up. It, it's, it's, not a, it's neither even nor odd function. So... You, you don't use symmetry when you when you can't, otherwise you're giving it the wrong answer. Oh, let's do another one. Then I'll, then I'll give you some, some to practice. Look at look at this example right here. Suppose we want to um, look at look at the region bounded by y equals zero, x equals two minus y squared, and y equals x, and we want to revolve that around um, the x-axis. 
All right, we're revolving this region around the x-axis. If you're revolving this region around the x-axis, then uh, again, you would not want to use the um, the w disk washer method because I believe you would have to break it up into integrals. You could use it; it would just be messy. Remember, with the disk with the disk method, you you would um, draw your um, rectangle perpendicular to the x-axis. But here we could do it all all in one integral. See. So remember what it is. It's two pi. Uh, well, it's it's two pi times the distance to the axis of revolution. The distance of axis of revolution would be the y, y coordinate, right? Times uh, the length of the rect rectangle. Well, the rectangle would be the right minus the left. In this case, it would be uh, two minus y squared minus y. There you go. So, so, this, so this, this is what it becomes. You, and you would add those up, and it would be a dy integration. You'd add those up from 0 to 1. So uh, there are times when it's easier to do one. There's times when it's easier to do the other. But in this case, it, the, the shell method would certainly be easier because you wouldn't have to break it up into two separate inter integrals. How about, um, so this is what you get. How about along the line y equal negative 1? If, if you wanted to revolve it around the line y equal ne negative 1, then... Uh, what happens is the distance to the axis of re revolution becomes different. Uh, it becomes you're still adding them up from zero to one. You're adding these up from zero to one. But what is what is the distance from this y coordinate to the line y equal negative one? What what is the distance from here to here? It, w it would be y sub i minus negative one, wouldn't it? Which gives you y plus one. And the, the length of the rectangle is still the same. It would be um, it would be right minus left, so you get uh, two minus y squared minus y. There you go. All right, let's try these. I'm going to give you a bunch. Some of them you're going to would be easier with the um, disk washer method. Some of them it would be easier with the shell method. Uh, so go ahead, hit the pause. This is going to take a while. Go ahead. Don't don't worry about com computing the integrals. Just set them up. Say so when you revolve it around the so here here's the region. If you're revolving this around the x-axis, wouldn't it be better to use the washer method, right? Because um, uh, it just it, it seems reasonable to, to draw this uh, rectangle perpendicular to the x-axis. You could do it all in one integral. So what what would it be? It would be pi. It would be pi. Well, you're adding these up from zero to two. Pi the outer radius squared minus the inner radius squared. Remember that. So the outer radius squared would be uh, x plus 2 squared minus the inner radius squared, which would be x squared squared, which becomes this. Now, when you revolve it around the, um, the y-axis, uh, then it would be better to use the shell method. The inter interesting thing is, notice I'm still, um, the rectangle looks the same, but when you revolve around the y-axis now, um, you're, you're actually using the shell method here. You're going to add up these concentric shells from 0 to 2, right? And it's 2 pi times x. x is the distance to the axis of revolution, so it would just be 2 times the x coordinate, times the height of the rectangle, which would be top minus bottom, dx. There you go. Now, what about the, along the line y equal negative 1? Well, uh, in this case, wouldn't it be easier to use the washer method again? Because um, you could do it all in one integral here. It's going to be 2, it's going to be pi, you're, gonna, you're, adding, you're adding these up from 0 to 2. And it's going to be the outer distance squared. What is the outer distance? What is the distance from here to here? Isn't it going to be, uh, let's see, the, the top one is x plus 2. So it's x plus 2 minus negative 1. Or you could, you could just say x plus 2 plus 1 squared minus the um, inner radius, inner, inner di distance squared. The inner distance would be the, the distance between this, this is y equals x squared, minus negative 1. So, so x squared minus negative 1 and square that whole quantity. So you could, you could certainly sim simplify that. And then the last one, when, when, you, when you revolve it around uh, the line x equal 2, again, the shell method would be the one to, to use here, certainly, because um, you could do it all in one integral. It becomes 2 pi times the distance to the axis of revolution. What is the distance from this x sub i star to here? Is, if this is the x-coordinate. Wouldn't this distance from here to here be 2 minus the x-coordinate? That's the distance to the axis of revolution. So you get 2 minus x here, times the um, length of the rectangle, which would be the top minus the bottom. It's a dx integration because you're adding up along the x-axis. All righty, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.